Hey team, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an aquarium wall like the one that you see behind me. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is go through and teach you the various tricks and techniques that you need to know and what items you will need in order to make an aquarium wall like this. And what you'll be able to do is really customize it based on what size fish tanks you want to use or you know what kind of order of fish tanks you want what kind of things you want to cover the wall but really the goal will be so that you leave today's video knowing how to make a what I like to believe is a professional looking aquarium wall so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna move over to the workshop so I will see you in a couple minutes alright thanks alright so here we are outside of my apartment, AKA housing workshop. And everything should all be set up inside when we get into the room to go ahead and get started and showing you how to make an aquarium wall. So let's go ahead and head in. And once this loads, everything should be right there for us. No, those, uh, those are definitely not items that you need to make an aquarium wall. In fact, nothing in there is required for an aquarium wall. It's a pretty nice collection of doodads. I don't know what kind of goblins or gnomes or trolls got into the apartment, but give me just another minute to get set up and we'll come back and, and do this for real. All right, we are back. We have gotten rid of all the little doodads in the workshop and we are back to talk about building aquarium walls. Obviously on the left you need aquariums, whatever sizes and shape and number you want to put in your wall. Pillars are good to have because they help you cover some of the strange lines that can come from putting this together and it really helps complete the wall in a nice clean way. Stage panels, uh, you'll need at least one, just one stage panel is fine. And then a ton of Eorzean maps and the reason is is because it's the back of the map that makes the wood that goes around the aquariums and gives it that nice clean finished look so you'll use a lot of these they're a thousand gill from any of the housing vendors so please don't spend extra money buying them on the market board a lot of people like to buy them from the housing merchant and then sell them on the market board to people who don't know they could get them much cheaper so don't be that person and then I've got a couple of optional items here wooden loft can help you float the aquarium depending on what setup you want you may either use the loft or you can just float it on its own and then a wooden beam reason I have the wooden beam here is it's another option for bordering around an aquarium wall. So I used to have one in my old house in my cottage that kind of went around a corner like 45 degrees and I used the beams as part of the trim. So a couple optional items that we'll talk about depending on how you're going to set up your wall. Like I said team before I want to I want to make this video so that you can build a wall but you can customize it in a way that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my full screen here and I'm gonna get a few things set up a little bit differently and then I'll be back and we'll, we'll continue on. All right, and we're back. And so far all I've done is put out one tier three aquarium. One thing I would recommend is giving yourself some wall space. A lot of times people will shove their aquariums back into the wall kind of like that to give themselves more floor space but when it comes to having room to kind of maneuver it's not a bad idea just to leave it you know against the wall but not where it's clipping into the wall if that makes sense and then next uh, recommendation as much as you can keep grid snap on because being able to square everything up is always really important. We're not gonna be able to do it for every move in this, but we're gonna be able to do it for a lot of them. So the first trick I wanna show you is, and I'll probably like image back to my aquarium as I'm talking through this so you can know specifically what aspect I'm working on. 
but one of the first things I want to show you there's a real easy trick but it's how to get two of the aquariums to really butt up against each other so one is you go into your storage or your inventory doesn't really matter you put down your new aquarium the one you want to have butt it up against the other one and you just first you make sure it's square right then this is one of the places you turn grid snap off but because grid snap was on when I placed the other aquarium it's not gonna matter because we're gonna square the two up so you turn grid snap off and what this does it is it allows you to put the aquarium right next to the other one before it starts to go purple like that so what you want to do is just kind of play with it this it helps a lot if you've got a pretty good like you've got a gaming mouse a mouse that is really good DPI it'll help you a ton with housing so if you're if you're finding that you're struggling with placement maybe look at your mouse and if you've got just like a regular cheapy computer mouse it might not have enough uh, sensitivity to match this up nicely so what you do is you just kind of get them nice and close to each other so that those boards that you see the angled boards kind of in the middle glitch through each other and then you place it and what I've got now actually that's about a pixel off is you've got two aquariums that are butted right up against each other and are even and I'm very as you can tell very picky about this um, the better you do when you're setting this stuff up the better off you'll be in the long run it gives you literally just like a pixel of play and frankly this is where it can be you know doing these types of housing things can be frustrating. there we go that's perfect um, now I can't really see through the middle you know what I mean but what I just went through is where housing can be very frustrating and where I've said this many times twice uh, having a little bit of patience and a little bit of love can really help you really want to take your time and, and do this so you get everything squared up nicely if you get frustrated you know maybe take a break walk away from it and then and come back to it and you'll be able to get everything set just the way you want um, so we've got two aquariums next to each other here the other thing I want to talk about kind of as I was prepping for this is the the order of the stack that I found that works at first I wanted to have the tier 4 the larger aquariums on the bottom and I wanted to have the tier 3 on the top it team it just it doesn't work good uh, it's so much easier and works so much better to have the larger aquariums go on top and I'll show you and you'll see what I mean when you see how easy it is for me to plop this other one on top so I'm gonna get out my tier 4 here and I'm just gonna set it on the ground I'm gonna turn grid snap on I'm gonna get everything nice and squared up and then this is another space where I know the front of my aquarium is square I'm gonna turn grid snap off and I'm just gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna slowly start to place it on top of the other two and what you want to do is I'll show you in a minute is you want to kind of get it a little bit back from the uh, the aquarium there and actually I might be able to pull that a little bit forward we'll find out here in a minute I'm gonna try I'm gonna try right about there so what I did is I uh, lined the centers up and I just literally because it's an aquarium is a tabletop item I was literally able just to put the large aquarium on top of these two aquariums it's by far the easiest way to do it another option for floating aquariums is to use a loft like this and I can stick it here and then I can take let me I should have more aquariums here I'll just use a tier two I can grab an aquarium I can set it up here right I can square it up and then I can turn my counter placement off and I can wiggle this around right just grab it I'm just left clicking and wiggling it around 
Um, if you watch any of my other housing videos, I go through this a little more slowly. But so if, if some of this doesn't make a lot of sense, just let me know. But I'm just going to move the loft away. And then I'm going to grab this. I'm going to wiggle it around. And then when I escape out of my housing menu, that aquarium is effectively floated. So you can use that method to float your aquarium. But for the wall that we're making, I just find it a lot easier to do it this way. I've got two tier threes with a tier four on top. You can see I, I did glitch through the wall in the back a little bit on the tier four. And that's why, like I said, it's a good idea to have them pulled forward a little bit so that doesn't happen. And then I'm going to see if all these will grab at once. So it looks like the tier four is stacked on top of the one on the left here. So I can grab that. And this was something I was really glad to find is if you if you get to a point where, oh no, something's crooked or something's messed up, you can actually play with it a little bit to get everything fixed the way you want. So let's say I just want that little bit of glitch through the back wall like that. I don't want a ton, I just want a little bit. And then I can go back to this, turn my grid snap off, and just... So now I've got everything squared back up. I've got it so it's not glitching through the back wall as much. I'll be able to see. The reason you don't want to have it glitch through the back wall a ton is because you'll put trimmings in there. You'll put something in there that, you know, is the the moon or the whatever, right? And if you've glitched through the wall, you're not going to see the back of the trimmings. You're going to see a wall. I think it's okay to have a little bit like the pillars that you see back there, but I don't know. I just don't think it looks as cool if you've got the whole wall glitch through the back of your aquarium and I see a ton of people do that. All right, so this may look like a hot mess so far, but now is the part where it really starts to come together. And that's using these maps, these Eorzean maps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna turn my grid snap and my counter placement, everything back on. And what I like to do is Imagine that the front of the map doesn't matter and use that to determine the height of the maps in order to create this wood wall. And as I do this, you'll it'll make sense what I mean. So I'm actually gonna turn grid snap off so I can slowly bring this in. And what you'll notice is that what I've got set up so far is pretty good, but I need to go a little bit lower with the maps. Uh, in order to make a, a more balanced cover between the aquariums. This will cut out some of your aquarium space, but if you do it right, you're still going to see the fish quite well. So I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to turn my grid snap back on because again, keeping it on is super helpful for lining things up. I'm going to move it down a couple here and Go just like that. I'm going to turn my snap back off. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the one we want. So we probably could try if you wanted, if you liked it better, we could probably go one more up and see how that looks. Um, Yeah, let's give that a shot. That way we'll see more of the bottom of the tank, but we'll see a little bit less of the upper one. So you can do it either way, but wherever you want to place that, again, I would highly recommend keeping grid snap on. The other thing that you want to do is set up as many as you, of your maps as you can at once. Do I have more maps? I know I've got more maps to help with this tutorial. Here's some. So I'm gonna set these here and see how all of this looks. So those need to go up a bit. 
And again, t oop. anytime you grab something, left click. If you grab it on accident, just right click. You'll go right out of it. Or whatever place cancel is for PlayStation. Now, there we go. I'm going to just set this here for now so it lets me get a better grab. And I'm going to turn my grid snap off. Yeah, right there. So what that'll show you is it'll give you an idea of as you place these things what's going to poke through and how it's going to look and how everything's going to line up. Okay? And then I'm going to go back here. And what you do is you flip the whole thing around. Turn that grid snap back on. I'm going to be using a lot of text in this video because I am uh, I'm kind of re-remembering how to do a lot of this as I talk. So there'll be a lot of text to help you out as you're going through it. All right. Well, I'm going to show you how this works and then we can go from there. So I'm going to move this over a couple. I used to feel like in order to do the trick, I would have to run into the wall and turn around and then grab the map and move the map. But what's cool is the way the game works is I'm going to be able to grab all these maps from this side of the stage or the um, whatever that wall is called. So what you want to do is you want to turn counter placement off and then grab each of your maps and give them a little wiggle a little wiggle a little wiggle i know i've got four back there and now when i grab this check that out they are all there and it looks you can see it now i know you can see it now and this is cool this doesn't have any of the kind of stuff poking through like i do on my aquarium you could very easily just keep it just like that and that would be a very cool, clean look. You will notice, though, there's a big gap right there on that top, right? So we might want to go in just a little bit more with this. But if you were to do it this way, even if you had that kind of a gap, there's going to be a gap no matter what. You're not really going to notice it because this whole wall is going to be full. And all you're really going to see is you'd have to come up into like here to see it so uh, that may be a, a cool way to set up your aquarium but I'm gonna put this back here and then what will happen is if I turn counter placement back on when I grab these maps again they're gonna stick to this see so let's try it with Now that is going to have a lot coming through. What's interesting is the maps aren't even stuck to the... ...wall anymore. The stage panel. There we go. So this is closer to what you see uh, and it, this is actually what you see when you look at the aquarium at my other house where you've got the vents and bars kind of showing through the wood and what's nice is that was done with just counter uh, the grid snap kept on so you'll know you'll be able to line those up I do see one little error though and I don't know I'll probably cut all that anyway. Oh, I'm so tired. <clears throat> Go to your apartment. So here's what we got, and hopefully you're seeing, starting to see how this comes together to end up looking like my aquarium wall that I showed you at the beginning of the video. The important steps as you're customizing this is you think about the tools that you have, which are the Eorzean maps, the pillars, the aquariums themselves, and you, you 
look at the wall space that you have and you determine how it's best going to fit. When I first started doing this, I started throwing other things in there to try and complete the wall. And what I found was it was actually smarter to kind of reconfigure things and just use the pillars and the maps so that I had a consistent look. It ended up looking like a hot mess because I was like, oh, there's a little bit of a gap there. Let me throw a whatever over there. And it just didn't, it didn't work out. Uh, one of the things you could try though are these beams. What's nice about these is if you pull them from your storeroom and you grab it like that. So you just pull it from your storeroom and grab it and you can turn grid snap off. It's gonna let you place these beams even against purpley walls. So let's say I wanted to do something crazy with these beams where, you know, it goes this far and then it's the beam until the end of the wall. You just very carefully put it where you want and then you hit your little place menu and then enter. And what it'll do is it'll plop that beam wherever you've stuck it. And what that'll allow you to do is get real creative with, you know, how you wanna do these, the rest of these walls, right? So you could do something like that, or I mean, I know that doesn't look good, but you get what I mean. Um, you can also use these beams to help you if you have weird challenging areas as part of your again you got to take them from storage but if I've got weird areas in my aquarium wall and I just can't find a, a way to get them to match up or it's just not matching right you know you can you can get creative with some of these other things you could use a beam or two to, to help finish that part of the wall. I would use the maps still to keep it consistent, but again, I just wanted you to see that there are different options available. Make sure I've got this. At the right height. I do. So what I'm going to do, what's interesting is when you're doing the maps, you have to think backwards, right? Because you're going to flip it around and then you're going to put it against the wall. So another trick, just always leave yourself a little bit of a something at one of the edges. In fact, I'm going to need this at the opposite edge. So I'm going to try to make this go all the way across. Again, I want to see it on the left, so I put it to the right. And then I spin this. And then I'm just going to bring that right in there. Pew, pew, pew. Boom, drop it, right? And again, if your stage panel touches a map, you just want to make sure you turn that counter placement off and just grab all of them. But you can see what's happening here is that I am building out the rest of the wall. So let me, uh, let me just show you real quick where to get the maps from. And I guess what I'll do is I will finish off kind of this part of the wall. And I, I hope that'll be enough for you to get started with to get your aquarium wall the way you want it. And then of course you just kind of right click on the, the aquariums and drop your fish in. So I'm gonna exit out of the housing menu. Always a good idea to do that every once in a while to make sure everything is still stuck. Go to the lobby here. I feel like this isn't as organized of a tutorial as I wanted, but I think you're gonna I, you're smart. You're gonna understand what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, wall decorations. Just scroll till you see Eorzean map. We'll buy 
five more of them just to kind of show you how this goes. It's weird as I clicked on that five times I only bought me four. Okay, so if you're ever like, why is my map not doing the thing it's supposed to do? Just make sure that your uh, counter placement is turned back on. It's at the right height. I'm just gonna do this all at once, kind of the right way here. So I'll grab this one back out. That way you can see it again how kind of this is supposed to be done. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna spin this whole mess of stuff around with my grid snap on. I've still got grid snap on. I'm gonna put this right there. And now the fun begins where I know I've got at least four maps back there to grab. But one, two. find that you're struggling with the measure part try to get your guy a little closer or your girl a little closer so that's pretty good so I'm going to yeah I think I'm gonna go there with it so I'm gonna pull this back out Actually, I want to cover. I'm going to cover it like that. I'm going to turn my counter placement off. And again, this is a, an important part where it's real easy to forget that there's multiple. If you're ever worried, just again run into the wall and kind of look and, okay, so here's one, here's one, here's one there's one so I know I have officially grabbed all of the maps that are back there I can grab my stage panel just, uh. see so that's kind of how you build the side walls now I think it would look I don't know, it might not look too bad, but if you were to just fill it in with all maps on the side like that, I don't know if it would look real great. I would at least take some pillars and kind of do this type of situation, right? So you've got some sort of visual break in, in all of that wood 
but I think I think that's enough. I think I've given you enough to get going and hopefully make some really creative, amazing aquarium walls. But those are the concepts. Using pillars, using Eorzea maps, flipping them around, turning that counter placement off. Use grid snap whenever you can. Please use grid snap uh, as much as you can. I've had so many crooked walls that I've had to redo because of it. So definitely use that and don't forget the big aquarium stack on the small aquariums easier. The easiest way to stack the aquarium is just take the big aquarium and put it right on using that grid snap off. So if the small aquariums are on the bottom and you've grid snapped them and they're all laser lined up, when you put that one on top it'll be nice and lined up as well. You can, you can kind of eyeball that. But that is, that is it team. A, a very amazing aquarium wall that you see in front of you there but I just uh, I don't have the components left to complete it and I feel like going through the rest of it is is getting a little redundant and a little boring but please if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment below and if there's anything else you want a video on don't hesitate to let me know as well thanks team and have a great one